Hey, good morning. Today is the 27th day of November. Have you been reading your Proverbs? Remember what I said? You can open up to a proverb every day, the day that corresponds to the chapter because there are 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs. So today we open up to Proverbs 27. And in Proverbs 27, one of my favorite verses is chap- is uh, verse 13. Verse 13 says, A satisfied soul loves the honeycomb, but to a hungry soul, every bitter thing is sweet. I say it again, A satisfied soul loves a honeycomb, but to a hungry soul, every bitter thing is sweet. In the New Testament, John wrote this in 3 John 2. Beloved, I pray that you prosper and be in health. Sorry, I say it again. Beloved, I pray that you prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. So is your soul prospering? Is your soul satisfied? Our soul is our heart, our mind, our emotions, and our will. How is our soul satisfied? The book of Proverbs say, a satisfied soul loves the honeycomb. The honeycomb is sweet, it is sensual. It is things that attract us, things that appeal to our senses, excitement, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. These are the things that appeal to our senses, our ego. So the book of Proverbs says, when our souls are satisfied, we loathe the honeycomb. That means we are not tempted by these fleshly desires. That means when our souls are satisfied, we are safe. S-A-F-E, safe. We are secure. However, if our soul are hungry, we will find every bitter thing sweet. Every small little temptation seems sweet to us. Everything that the devil whispers in our ears, every gossip that we speak of, every tale that we hear of, it seems sweet to us because we are hungry. So how do we satisfy our soul? Only the Lord can satisfy us. His love is better than wine, sweeter than the honeycomb. When we are satisfied with Jesus, we are no longer tempted by the the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Because we are already satisfied. So today, I pray that all of us will prosper in all things and be in health just as our soul prospers. Open up the Word of God and fill yourself with the Word of God. Fill yourself with the presence of the Lord God. Worship the Lord and enjoy Him today. He is the only one who can satisfy your soul. Have a blessed week and a blessed day.